Today, we're comparing two timber tongs, Axenkopf, Northwind Tools. This right here is made by the German tool company, the Axenkopf company. And this is the OX52. And this right here is made in America. This is called the pinch -a log made by Northwind Tools LLC. So I'm gonna go over some of the quick specs and then I'm gonna test this out. All right, so as you can see, I have a lot of logs right here. And each one of these was either hand loaded between myself or my son, Logan. We put it in my truck, in my trailer, and we've hauled it here. So one of the things I have used when lifting these this right here, I've had for a couple years and I made a review on it. And when I first received the timber tongs, I was a little unsure how much I would use it. But now this is a go-to for lifting the heavy logs. And then just a week ago, this came to me in an unboxing video. I don't know if you saw that. Okay, so let's go over the OX52, the Oxenkopf. This weighs two pounds. It has a 10.4 inch jaw opening. One of the features has a ergonomic cork handle grip. And I believe there are heat treated tips. I think I read that somewhere. All right, the Northwind Tools pinch log. This goes from six inches all the way up to 26 inches. It has a handle release. And then here's the handle as an end stop for your hand. So one of the first things I noticed with this, between the two, I'm kind of a fan of having the cork, but I, I don't know, maybe they could offer a grip or like an optional grip to put on it. The other thing I could also do is like I have a hockey stick and I ran hockey tape around it and that would give you a nice cushion grip. I mean, it would be a cheap, quick alternative to making it work. So, let's see how this works on some of the logs using these two. So this really works better on some of the smaller to medium size, like this right here. See, it just grabs it pretty easy. It definitely is better than having to do that number right there. If I'm ever going out logging and getting firewood, this always comes along with me. And I'm planning for the future trips having this as well. I haven't, I've always kind of wanted to have two so I could have something in each hand. And this might actually be the perfect combo, one for the bigger logs and one for the smaller logs. I think they're gonna each have their strengths. So let's see how this one works. See that picks it up and then to let go. You can do that number. You can grab it on the end, just like that, because that has a 26 inch. That's pretty cool. That's something the other ones don't have. Then you're gonna let go of it. And let's see. So I guess time will tell which one I like the best. I really like the wide opening that this one offers. This one, I like how small and portable it is, but this is limited to only 10.4 inches. So let's say I'm gonna try to grab this big log right here. It wouldn't really work. Let's see if we can do it with this. So you can definitely, you're lifting like that, you're not using your back, like bending over and trying to lift it. That's the beauty of timber tongs. I'll just give you another demonstration between the two. The Oxenkopf you grab right in the center of the log. It works fine, you grab a little off center. It spins just a little bit, but then the log will hit the tool itself and hold steady. With the other, brand the pinch -a log if you grab it right from the center here it works fine it's 
starting to twist a little bit. Now if you grab it off center, the entire log will spin. So it works better with the wider diameter logs or just grabbing it on the ends would be my recommendation. That works fine for that. And you can easily release it. All right, so if you're looking at the price range, I believe this one is like around 104. And this right here is $79.99. That includes shipping and handling as well. So you've got a couple of things to consider. I'm just amazed how much I use timber tongs, so I highly recommend them. And I'm gonna keep using this this summer and hopefully process this pile. Actually, I have a, about another truck and trailer load of firewood to get. Then I think I'm gonna be done for a while with that and work on some other things. All right, so friends, so this concludes my video review of this comparison between the two brands. So please put it in the comments down below your preference or any questions you have between the two. And if you find the video interesting or informative, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it, friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time. If you like this video, I think you might like a few other videos over there to the right, so please click on those and watch them as well. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that button down below. And if you want to see what I'm up to during the week, please connect with me on Twitter and Instagram. All right, friends, enjoy.